Hey everybody, Steve here. And I'm going to give you a little quick tip today on how to add moldings to these hoods that she provides. This one happens to be by Stanichi right here. And as you can tell, these are not cabinets, they're fixtures. So if you look over here, there is no place to add a molding. So if we place it in the plan here, and I'll go and center it on this and then use point to point and just move it back to drywall, wherever it is right here. And we set it to be um, finished floor to top. I don't want to 7.75, I believe. And we look at it. We've got it in there, but there's no molding and no way to add the molding. So how do we do it? And that's the subject of today's quick tip. So the first thing I'm going to do is go over here to my working plan. And I am going to, I have created, as you can see right here, a working hood only plan view. And I'm going to switch to that. And I'm just going to use my layer hider here and turn things off. And there, and that range, I had changed the layer for the range to cabinet base. So the only thing left now is this right here, the, uh, the hood. And then I'm going to go CAD detail from view. And I'm just going to draw a polyline right here. Just grab this little tool and start here and just draw a polyline right to, oh, I forgot one important step. This is a block. It comes into uh, to uh, CAD detail from you as a block. So break this block, explode it with that tool right there. Now grab your polyline tool and it'll snap to these corners. And then we'll take it and use our three key and break it here and here and pull it back to the front of the cabinet here and the side here and over here. Then copy it down here and then go back to our floor plan and go control alt V for paste and hold position. And while it's still selected, hit your magic wand tool and select molding polyline. And you can put it on a different layer right here. Uh, you might put it on um, moldings uh, just to keep things moving. And then the molding I want to add is CA-16. That's what's on the other cabinets. And I click OK. I'm not going to extrude it to the inside, so I'm going to uncheck this. And then I'm going to make it three by three. And to the top, I want it to be 107.75. And that is from here. So it may or may not be right. So let's just take a look. And it is actually down a little. I think it's down the thickness of the finished flooring. So let's just put 0.875 right here. And it's still off. It looks like a little bit. Let's do one other thing just to make sure it's in the right height. We're going to do a back clip cross section right through here. And as you can see, it is finishing at the right elevation. So good. And um, we are going to do one more thing here, and that is with the polyline selected, get this back edge right here, come down and remove the molding from that edge. And now when you take a look at it, it is, it, it is perfect. Now you have your molding and you can paint it the same color. And if you wanted, since you have a molding here right now, we go back over here. And we can select this molding and let's copy it, paste and hold position, and then open it and move it down in the Z minus 38. That's the height of the hood. And then open that while it's still selected, go to moldings and replace it with a, well, you could go to the manufacturer's catalog and get a light rail, maybe in diamond or someplace like that. So go moldings light rail and pick a light rail that you like, uh, you know, maybe something like this or 
it doesn't matter. Just anything like this. Let's just take this. This one's a little hit this and see where it where it is. And it's in the right place, but it's not in the right place horizontally. So let's open it and go maybe minus one and watch it move now. There you go. And that's looking pretty good. Let's paint it. And then let's get rid of this molding right here. We can just, well, I want to do it in plan view. So I'm going to, um, let's make sure we have the right one. Oh, that's crown. So let's make sure we got the right one. Yes, we do. Let's move this back. And as we're moving it, let's use this tool and delete it. No molding on that edge and pull it all the way to the back. And then take a look. And we have our bottom molding. Now, I don't have time to show you how to fix this, but you could put a uh, spacer in there or something. And um, there you have it. Now, if I were you, I would select this, select this, and select this. And then use this chair symbol down here and make a symbol out of it. Call it Stanichi Hood uh, 48. I think it's 4838 with crown CA 16 and light rail. And save it to your library. Now you might want to put a stretch zone in it. So I would open it here and go to sizing. And I've done this a number of times, so I know what it is. Basically, if you put a stretch plane here, minus 21, it'll fall right in here. And so then plus 21. This is along the X axis right here. And then for the height, I would just put one maybe at 30. Let's just to see where that goes. That's good. And then I think that's all you really need. Put it in your library. And there it is. Now you can place that hood right here and you have it. It'll come in right here unless you open it. Right click right here. Open object and set the height to the bottom at, say, 66 or something. OK, that now if you set it in here, it's always going to come in at this height. So there's a couple of quick tips for you. Hope you enjoyed this video and tell your friends. And don't forget, check out my website, mychiefskills.com for more information. You can download my amazing chief screen porch library and uh, other things and, uh, and or book a training session. Thanks for watching.